Welcome to my final episode on my chocolate series. I have shown you how to make chocolate syrup and chocolate sauce. This time, we are going to make homemade chocolate fudge. Now, what are the differences among these three? Number one, chocolate syrup is used to flavor your drinks. It is more fluid in texture. Chocolate sauce is used for toppings and also as a base for your drink and also for walling. So those are thicker in texture. And finally, we are going to make chocolate fudge, which is the thickest of the three. And this can be used as the icing on the cake, literally. That means you can use this as a topping for your drink as well. For the ingredients, I'm going to use dark chocolate powder here. This is 70% dark and unsweetened and no dairy added. This is my own blend. And to make it more cost effective and also to add a little bit of mystery to this, I am going to use Milo. And then I'm going to use condensed milk. I'm going to use a dash of salt and also vanilla. Now vanilla is optional here, but it's definitely going to make your chocolate fudge so much better. For the equipment that you need to make your fudge, I would say use a saucepan or any large bowl that you can mix the fudge in. And um, you can multiply the proportion that I'm going to show you here today for as many times as you like. If you'd like to make a large batch, you can multiply it by two, by three, up to however many you'd like to use. And then I'm also going to use some of these tools. Now I have here a spoon, a spatula, and a whisk. Now, I normally use the spoon to mix the drinks because if I use a whisk, what happens is that the chocolate will be stuck in here and it's quite difficult to take it off. So I suggest you start with a spoon or a spatula, but I still prefer the spoon. Now let's go ahead and make our chocolate fudge. Into a saucepan, your chocolate powder, Milo, and all of the condensed milk. Now this is a no-cook recipe. So what you need to do here is to make sure that the powder is completely combined with the condensed milk. Now with the chocolate fudge, you don't really have to make sure that it is fully dissolved. You can have a lumpy chocolate fudge so that you can bite into something. But if it's very, very thick, I would suggest that you add a little bit of hot water or even milk. At this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, just a dash, and then add my vanilla syrup. Just about, this is a pure vanilla. I'm just going to add one half teaspoon there. Ooh, that smells very good. And then continue mixing. Mix and mix and mix. So what you need to do here is to just make sure that the powder is fully incorporated. It doesn't have to be fully dissolved, but do not leave any powdery texture like that there. Keep stirring until everything is well combined. If you see some lumps, that's perfectly fine. Now that looks like a beautiful chocolate fudge. If you don't finish this fudge after you make it, you can keep it refrigerated for up to about two weeks. Once refrigerated, it will harden so you can warm it in the microwave and you should once again get this beautiful texture of fudge. That's it. It is ready. Beautiful texture here. Perfect for drinks and also for cakes and even just for eating as it is okay now let me give this a try this is one of my favorites mmm wow that is pure milk chocolate okay now for the fun part we are going to use this chocolate fudge to make our ice mocha fudge for my ice mocha fudge I'm going to use the coffee brewed from my mocha pot I'm going to start by filling my glass with ice milk coffee I'm just going to fill this to the top with ice 
Add about 60 grams of the chocolate fudge on the drink and you have a deliciously looking ice mocha fudge. Okay, now, wasn't that easy? I told you that you can make your own homemade chocolate fudge. Very, very easy to make and also quite cost effective. And now, for the moment that I'm always looking forward to is to give this a try. Now, I think I put quite a lot of chocolate fudge on this one. If you're making this for business, I would suggest that you put just about 60 grams of your chocolate fudge. Otherwise, it'll be too much, it'll be too sweet. Also, the chocolate fudge will not completely mix with your drink and so the idea is for you to eat it. So, I suggest that if you're serving this in coffee shops or milk tea shops, use a straw with a spoon. First, I must get some of this chocolate fudge. I can't resist. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, the coffee tastes good. Chocolate and coffee, perfect combination. Wow, that is delicious. Hands down, this is probably the best mocha I've ever had. That is because of the chocolate fudge. Now, if you don't believe me, do give these recipes a try and let me know how they go for you. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know. Also, make sure that you share this video as well so that we will increase the reach of my channel and then I can make more videos for you, especially for those that are in the coffee and tea business and also for those that simply want to make these drinks at home start saving money by making your own drinks and also making your own syrups and sauces that's all i have for today don't forget to click that subscribe button for more of these video clips in the meantime stay safe stay tuned thank you for watching ciao for now